We just made the easiest, most realistic faux rust ever, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Help us out. This week, we're getting into some iron work, but not enough that we need to join like an iron workers union. <laughs> No, what we're excited to show you is some new paint techniques that I found. This Modern Masters Metal Effects. This is um, oxidizing. Yeah, well, you love alliteration, yeah, so. This is oxidizing iron paint with a rust activator. And so we're gonna be making a Gothic arch window frame and make it look like it has a metal iron overlay on the front of it that we're gonna add some rust to. I'm really excited about trying out this new paint. Now if you wanna follow along, we're gonna offer the SVG and the kit in our store. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We had a super short shopping list this week. We just needed some quarter inch MDF. I have six sheets of them. They are 14 by 38 inches long. They're gonna fit right in the glue forge. And then we need these paints. So we're gonna be using these Modern Masters Metal Effects paints. Today we're gonna use the iron paint with the rust activator over top because I think it's gonna give this gothic arch a really like metal look and feel because we really wanna do more metal work, but <laughs> we aren't really iron I workers. I'm not an iron worker. <laughs> And so I don't really have the tools to do that. So I complain all the time that I want to add some metal accents into some of our projects. Yeah, a lot of them. And well, we did we did some, and I still think I'm going to do something with it, but I'm a little nervous about Garrett doing it. If you remember, we did some galvanized metal and Garrett had to cut it. Oh and yeah, that's right. <laughs> he almost lost a leg, it was a thing. So I'm a little hesitant to do more metal work since we aren't metal workers, but I think this is gonna be a great alternative. This Modern Masters also has a copper version here, the copper paint with a green patina. They also sell a blue patina that'll go over it. And we're gonna do this in our Tuesday Live. So if you guys wanna join us live on Tuesday at three o'clock, we're gonna be using this version. Today, we're gonna use the iron version and I'm really excited about it. We're like metal workers for the week then, right? Yeah, yeah. This is our metal working week. All right. It's like a rotation. I'm ready. <laughs> I feel like I need some different equipment. <laughs> Step two, uh, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna bring the MDF over to the glow forge. I'm gonna use the thick draft board settings and the pass through to cut the design that we have. And now we paint. No, well, now we prime, actually. We're just, we're priming it. <laughs> That's right. Step one of this is to add the primer. We're going to prime only the top section here because this is what we're going to put the metal effects on. The base boards, the base frame, we're going to stain and dry brush this. So we'll do that in a moment. So let's set these aside. The and base. All the bases, yeah. Right. So the base is 12 by 36, and the interior piece is 11 by 35. Gotcha. No bases. Base. No, no bases right now. Later base. Later <laughs> base. It's not about the base right now. <laughs> He's stacked with a bunch of them. Here are here are plates. Now, we don't have a lot of this primer. I will say, top? I, I neglected to mention that all of these paints can be found on Amazon. And guess what? What? <laughs> Starting Friday, or probably day before Friday, maybe on Thursday, we will have our own Amazon store where you can go and find all the items that we use in our projects in our Amazon store. All oh, those fun things great. that people ask about will be in our store. So that's really exciting. So these paints will be in the store and you guys can go find them there. And our brushes and our FIFO bottles and all the yep. all the cool little all gadgets the, we use. All the jam. 
<laughs> so I did get this on Amazon, but I only, I didn't realize I had ordered such a small bottle. It's a tiny bottle. So we do have to put two coats on there. Oh, you so, do? So yeah, it would be thin. Yeah, well. It be thin and precise. <laughs> precise, yes, that's what I was thinking. Let's be precise with it. So do you think it'll be okay to do it on a plate? I say we share a plate then so we don't waste the paint on painting the plate. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, that's probably half the bottle. Let's see how it goes. Now we're gonna add the second coat. Step four. And now we add some iron and maybe some multivitamins. <laughs> All right, so this is iron paint and it does contain real iron particles and it will naturally oxidize over time. However, we will be using the activator today. We're gonna make that quick. But for now, we have to put this on and let it dry. So let's quickly do that. It's a little bit chunky. You'll see that it's got little flecks of yeah, it looks kind of thick. Looks see the pasty. little, yeah. Well, it's not so much pasty, but see how it's a little chunky in there. Yeah, you'll see. Time for coat number two. It's looking a little splotchy. Gonna put a second coat on it. Really firm it up. Make it look like iron. Maybe. I hope. Hmm, no, not exactly, but it will fill in some of those spots. All right, we're gonna set these aside and let them cure and do their thing. Do their little... They just need to dry. dry we were We put a pretty... Um, Gloppy coat. Aggressive coat of paint on here. <laughs> So these will need a little time to dry. Step five. Now <laughs> we stain. We're gonna stain the backers. Just the briar smoke. Give them a base coat. So like I said, this is two layers. This, this is the base layer. It's a little bit thicker. And then yes, we're gonna stain it briar smoke and Varathane's briar smoke. And then we're gonna add a dry brush paint on top. So first we need this base coat of stain. Stain it. You just wanna get one brush? I do wanna use one brush. Yeah. Probably should have some gloves on. Five A. I don't know how to make an A. That is it. Now we do some dry brush. We're gonna use the vanilla frosting from Country Chic and just give it a, a dry brush and make it looking antique-like. That's right. Go ahead and show me. Show me the technique. This one's a little thick. I think I wanna try, let me see. Let me start with this one. <clears throat> See where I'm going with that? Yeah. All right. All right, time to set these aside to dry. Oh, these are looking pretty cool on their own though. They are. Look yeah, there. seriously, I think you could hang those by themselves. Yeah. I mean, that put one of those cool. green boxwood wreaths on them. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty cool. But we're not done yet. Not done yet. Step six. It's time, time for the activator. activator. It's time for the activator. That's all you're gonna give me? That's Nothing more? How much more do you want? More. Boop, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> 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 you embarrassed me, it's hot, it's hot here. <laughs> it is now. Okay, we're gonna use the Metal Effects Rust Activator. We've put them in these little tiny spritzer bottles. These came from Walmart, these little two ounce bottles. I'm just gonna use it because it has a nice fine spray mist. No, At least that one does, I mist. hope this one does. And then uh, we're gonna give it one good like 
medium coat. You don't want to soak it. So we're missing and you don't the whole thing. We're going to too light. Yeah, the we're whole missing thing? the whole thing. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, follow your lead. Okay. Oh, that, that, okay, all right. This is serious business. Forearms are burning. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep switching out. Oh, I'm switching hands. <laughs> I had to switch hands, too. All right. All right. Now we're gonna give that five minutes and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do it again. All right, five whole minutes. Yes, so keep the camera on because it will start activating. Activating. While we're gone. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Come back in five. Yep. been a whole five minutes it's already looking pretty rusty yeah well, I guess rusty but all right second coat so second coat yeah. same as the first yeah second verse same as the first just don't have to go I don't think we have to go super heavy just making sure the tips are looking rusty all right, now we just have to wait for this to dry. Like dry total? Yeah, like dry, dry. Dry, dry. How long so, does that usually take? I don't know, 30 minutes. 30 minutes? All right, we'll be back in uh, 30 minutes. Step seven, time to assemble. Everything is dry, well, pretty dry. And look at how cool they look. Man, look at that rust. That is some cool looking rust. It's very rusty. These are very rusty windows. <laughs> They're super old, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, we have our bases, and now we're going to put our rust tops on top. Look at that. We're going to glue them. Yeah. Using that star bond. Here, we'll start with this one. Okay. You gonna hold it like that? Yeah. All right. What'd you think? The easiest, most realistic faux rust ever, right? So easy. Leave a comment in the comments below about how you're gonna use this, or if you've done fake rust, how easy was it? Yeah, yeah, they look great. I am so impressed with how cool this is. And I can't wait to try the copper with the green patina. Like I said, oh, we're gonna yeah. do that on Tuesday. We'll do that on so Tuesday. So hopefully you guys can watch that video and see that one. But with this, I love this. I mean, this is rust. Like I said, those yeah. are real, it's real uh, looking iron rust. flakes in there that have rusted. So I'm pretty yeah. impressed. I can't yes. wait to use it on more things. That's cool, that's very cool. Yeah. And you can get, don't forget, you can get this kit in our store. We're going to have it in multiple sizes. So what'd you say? Like 12? 12, 24, 28, 32, 36. Yeah. So that you can, so the 28, 32 and 36 is so that you can do them kind of like this. You yeah. can have one taller than the other and uh, well, not like that. <laughs> the middle one would be tall. <laughs> or the small ones you could put together and put on a shelf. Well, yeah, I'm gonna show you that on Tuesday. So really come back on Tuesday, join us for our live or watch that uh, replay of our live because I'm really excited to show you what we're gonna do with the little small 12 inch version with some hinges. We're gonna put three of them together and use the copper. So it's all very right. fun. Big thank you to all of our patrons. We love you guys. 
And with that, we are about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe yep. button. You can say that while you balance. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and tick that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. I almost did that whole thing. <laughs>